Hello and welcome to chapter 4. In the previous chapter we created a door and key mechanic. We created this because we were looking to introduce mechanics that will impede the progress of the player from their starting position to the end of the maze. What we'll be doing in this episode is adding another mechanic which will also impede their progress. And rather than blocking their progress in a physical way, we're looking at adding a damage inducing uh, impediment and that would be a trap. So we're going to create a trap which is going to shoot arrow bolts out of the wall and into the target which will be the player. And we're going to do that if the player is uh, in front of the, uh, the shooter, it will shoot towards the, uh, the player. So to do that we need to import our meshes. So go into your meshes folder and let's import our arrow and arrow shooter mesh. Click open and import for both of those. We can disregard any warnings and we can delete these two materials. We'll be making our own in due time. So the first mesh we've got here is the shooter and this is the thing that's going to be on the wall that will shoot the arrows out of it. Next we have the actual arrow projectile itself which, which you can imagine you know what it does. So let's get started with this and first of all we'll make the materials for these two meshes. So I'm going to go to my materials folder and make a new material and this is going to be called the trap or let's, um, let's do wall decor mat and open it up and give this a 3 vector by holding down the 3 key and left clicking. We're going to plug it at the base colour and we're going to change its colour to be similar to the wall but a little bit darker. I think that'll do. And click apply. We're also going to make another one, and this is going to be for the silver tip of the arrows. So make a new material, and we're going to call it one silver mat, and open it up. So this works for quite similar to the gold. If we start off with first of all the color, into the base color, and we're going to choose a silver for this gray color. Next, we need to turn on metallic. So hold down the one key, left click, to insert a new constant. Put that into metallic, and we're putting the value of 0.0, uh, actually type in just one, when it's fully metal. And finally, we want to put in the roughness value. So hold down one again, left click, to have a constant. And the roughness, we're going to go and put it as uh, 0 0.4. Let's see what that looks like. That'll do, that's quite nice, we'll have that. The last material we need to make is a black one. So we go to material and call it black underscore matte. And quite simply, just going to put in a three vector and leave it as black. Now if we go into our meshes that we imported, we want to assign those materials to it. So this one is going to be wall decor and this one is going to be black. And the black part is this hole in the middle. Okay. Click save and close that. And go into our arrow mesh and we're going to use the silver tip and also the floor material. We want the brown for the stick. We've really got brown colour, so we might as well use that. So here I'm going to choose the floor mat and the second one is going to use the silver. And there is our mesh. So with those meshes now having materials, we now need to create the blueprints for these. So go into your blueprints folder, add new, blueprint class and choose actor. Again we choose an actors 
because we don't ever have to possess it or move it in any kind of way. So here I'm going to be calling this one uh, Shooter. And on my Shooter I'm going to add a Static Mesh. And I'll just call this Mesh. With it selected, go to the right hand side and you'll choose the Static Mesh that it's going to be using. Like so. I'm going to rotate it so it's facing in the X direction. Like that. And then I'm going to add a scene component, which is just a transform, just a location. And I want to use that to be sort of reference point to where the uh, arrows will be shooting out of. So I'm going to move it into position. And I want to move it just in front of the actual hole itself. Again, we can tweak this as we need later on. And I'm going to change the name of my scene component to arrow source. And click compile. Next, we're going to create the arrow blueprint. So go new blueprint class and choose actor. And we call it arrow. We'll add the static mesh to this. And on the right hand side, let's call it first of all arrow mesh. And on the right hand side, choose the arrow mesh as the static mesh. We're also going to add the Sph sphere collision which will act as the sort of sensor for when the arrows hit something don't worry about changing its size yet we'll do that in a moment and we'll call that leave it a sphere we can do now because it's a projectile we want it to have um, movement as a projectile movement but also be able to hit something so for that to work we need to make the sphere collision here the root of our entire pro uh, projectile so whenever you're working with projectiles, make the sphere collision, or the collider, the root. And to do that, we click and drag it onto the default scene root, and choose make new root. Now you'll see that the sphere is the root of this whole entire thing. Now roots, you can't change their rotation or location, but you can change their scale. And with this sphere collision, we can change the sphere radius. So here I can turn this down, so it's more appropriate to the size of our arrow. It's going to stay in the center. I'm just going to move my arrow mesh. First of all, I'm going to rotate it. So it's facing the X location, X direction. And I'm going to move it back so that this sphere collision route is on the arrow head. Okay, see how that is? So rather than move the sphere, you move the arrow mesh back. I click compile and oh so you need to add one more component to this. And that is the projectile movement itself. We'll click compile and we'll come back to this later in the next part where we carry on working on how to make this thing fly through the air. For now we've just got our meshes set, set up with our two blueprints ready to go for the next part. So join us in part two when we start adding code to our shooter to start launching these arrows across from its source. See you in that part. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.